What if I told you that I got this effect right here for just one layer and there is a way in Photoshop that you could create unlimited filters without any third party plugin and with just one layer well of course you can use multiple layers but just see with one layer we can create this effect wouldn't that be amazing okay so let's get started So, I'm gonna just create a hue and saturation layer and I'm gonna change the blending mode to soft light. Okay, I'm gonna change the hue somewhere like so. That looks good, I guess. Or maybe somewhere around there. Yep, like so. So, I can just change the saturation value and the lightness of the effect because this is fully customizable. So, like so. Okay, let's check the another example. No, not this one. Yep, this one. So, I'm gonna show you how to use the same technique with multiple layers so we're gonna just make this area look a little brown golden golden color i guess this a uh, little reddish and this is uh, somewhere on bluish tone and we're gonna just lighten the sky okay so i'm gonna create a hue saturation layer bring it on top and change the blending mode to soft light i'm gonna choose this and click on this color right there and i'm gonna change the hue like so okay looks good cool I'm gonna create another hue and saturation layer and I'm gonna just choose this and bring it towards some reddish tone yeah just play around with saturation okay cool I'm gonna now I'm gonna invert the mask so that it doesn't affect the other layers okay i'm gonna choose the brush tool opacity at 50 percent and choose the color white i'm gonna just paint on the areas where i want the effect to appear cool okay that's looking good yep okay i'm gonna create another hue and saturation there for the mountains and i'm gonna choose soft light and I'm gonna choose this bluish tone right there and we're gonna hit the plus eyedropper tool and just select more colors of blue yep yep that looks good I guess Okay, that's looking good. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna just paint on the area. Control plus I to invert the mask, as you know. Bring it to soft light and just choose the sky tone. Then just decrease the saturation a bit and change the hue somewhere of a lighter tone. Okay. Okay, let me change the mode overlay. And you can obviously play around with blending modes like soft light, overlay, and screen. All of the three blending modes give different effects. Side. Just like so. Make this guy look 
little lightly. Just look at the sky for now. I'm gonna invert the mask, control plus I, and just paint on the sky with white color. before and after amazing right and you haven't done any crazy stuff and maybe use the third party plugins still getting some great effects right here okay that's looking great okay let's choose another example and I wanna just Make it to overlay and I'm gonna just decrease the fill amount and the opacity low. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. Make another layer and just change the blending mode to screen, brighten the image, decrease the opacity somewhere around there, and just play around with lights. Um, like so. Okay, that's looking great. Give it a little faded look. That's looking amazing. Let's see the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Looks amazing, right? Okay. So now I'm gonna go to the final example. And this one is great. So I'm gonna just create another layer. And I'm gonna make this part up here to be like a golden door kind of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna create a hue and saturation layer and I'm gonna choose overlay. Okay, that's looking great already, but we're gonna make it even more better. Okay, let's choose overlay. Yep, that's looking good. Let's put on the saturation. Oh, the saturation. Cool. I'm gonna press Ctrl plus I and just paint on the door. Just like so. Okay, that's looking great. So. I'm just going to make the other parts of the wall a look yellowish, like this sunlight effect. So I'm gonna create a new and saturation here, and I'm gonna change to overlay. Okay, now you know what I mean. So I'll just choose this color and I'll make it a little yellowish. Okay. Mm, let's see, colors. No, not the colors. Those are the colors. Okay, that's looking okay. great. I'm gonna just mm -hmm. put the mask and just paint on the Okay. 
increase the opacity a bit. Yep. Create another human saturation layer and just make it screen. Now make the image a little pop out. So I'm gonna just let's say choose a dawn like. Mm. Yeah, put on like that and decrease the saturation. And we'll just invert the mask and paint on these areas. Cool. Decrease it a little. Okay, looks good. I'm just removing the excess. Okay, I'm gonna create another human saturation there. I'm gonna select this area right there and just decrease the saturation. This gives a nice black and white tone. Selective black and white tone, do precise. And let me just paint in there. White. Okay, I'm gonna just erase from the doorway. Okay, that's looking great. So what I'm gonna do now is create another UN saturation there and choose colorize and I'm gonna set it to soft light and overall tone to somewhere around there, publish tone, I'm gonna decrease the fill amount and the opacity. Okay, looks good. And bring it down and yeah, that's it. I'm gonna group them up and let's say the before and after. Amazing, right? That looks great. This was it guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post cool videos regarding Photoshop, manipulations, retouching and some mobile retouching tutorials too. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you learned something new today, please hit the like button. And also if you have any queries regarding this tutorial or any future tutorial, you can always like hit a comment or if you want to give feedback the comment section is all yours so thanks guys bye